channel. So today's video is going to be part two of my drugstore favorite series. And usually if you are covering your face, you mostly talk about exactly like the way you apply makeup. And my first video, if you haven't seen it, I will link that below. It's uh, all about my favorite drugstore foundations. And you would say that the continuation to this series would actually be concealers. Yes, it would actually be concealers, but I'm actually, I don't have three of the ones that I think are amazing drugstore concealers. So I said I'm going to skip concealers for now and I'm going to um, go into powder blushes and bronzers that can work as bronzers and contour and everything from the drugstores. I incorporated those three videos together, I'm sorry, those three products together just because they I don't have a lot um, that I prefer to have in my makeup drawers. So I said I'm going to talk about this three because mostly they go in hand. You get your powder and then you have your blush and your contour to be able to um, pull your whole face together. So I said I'm going to incorporate those three into one video. And I have to say that I know I've been MIA for about a week and a half or so. But I just wanted to take a break. Honestly, it's, it's not easy to have a YouTube channel work on your blog when you have two kids and you have a house and you have a husband and you have marriage and you have church. And I have a lot on my plate. But I will always find the way, I will always find time to sit and record for you guys because I just like it, I just love it, it's my passion and every single day to see that you guys like my content and subscribe to my channel, it just makes me really really happy. Even though that I have not thrown a video there for like a week or week and a half, you guys are still subscribing to my channel and I have to say that really really means a lot. And I hit my 4,000 subscriber last week and I was really excited because like I said in my post, I didn't even think that I would ever reach a thousand or even just continue on this journey because I have a lot of self issues that I am dealing with. You guys might see me in front of the camera all pretty hyper and whatever, but there's also sometimes you have issues in your um with yourselves growing up that you just have to overcome. And this for me is one, actually um, just talking and um, getting myself out there, having people to know me and to see me and reaching certain goals in my life that me growing up was very hard for me to like like believe I was gonna reach those goals. I don't know if you guys understand if I'm going somewhere with this. Maybe if I do a get to know me video, um, I can explain to you a little bit about myself. If you want to see a get to know me video, just go ahead and give it this video a thumbs up. And any questions you want to ask me to do this get to know me video, just go ahead and leave the questions down below in the comments and I will definitely try and put a video of get to know me together. So thank you for your support. 4,000 subscriber means the world to me to be honest. It's Probably people will say, yeah, but I have I have a hundred thousand. Well, congrats to you because you worked really hard to earn it. And I will promise you that once I hit five, we will we will celebrate. I will do a giveaway for you guys because um, I think it's time to celebrate. I mean, I don't like to do much giveaways on my channel because I don't have anything against other channels who do giveaways, but I just think that I like to earn my subscribers. I don't want to have subscribers in my channel because you want to win something. I really want to keep you in my channel because you like what I have to offer, you like my content, you like uh, what I have on my channel, and I don't, I don't want to bribe you guys to like my channel or like me. I mean, again, I don't have anything with the um, other vid uh, the channels that do giveaways then that's that's fine i just think that once you're like trying to get into like like a higher level in youtube i just want to earn it once i'm out there if i am if i ever reach 200 300 000, believe me that just as a free situation i will do random um giveaways but as of right now i think my milestones it's when i will do giveaways just to celebrate you guys this video <laughs> Without further ado, let's get started into the second part of my drugstore favorite series and this will be powders, blushes, and contour bronzers. And if you want to keep watching, go ahead and grab a snack and join me. So here I have my coffee made by my husband, the best coffee in the world. I always wanted to talk like this, like New Yorkers, the best coffee. <laughs> If it's not like how you say it, I'm sorry. I just I just heard people say coffee and it just sounds so cute. Coffee. <laughs> mm. And my husband makes amazing coffee, like awesome thumbs up coffee. Just kind of like revives you. 
So let's get started with powders. I have two that I'm absolutely loving, that I absolutely love. I have one which is my, I'm sorry I keep looking outside, it's just that I open all my windows today and the view that I have is just so beautiful. The day outside in Florida today is a beautiful, so focus over here. So I have two with me that I want to show you. There is one um, that I don't have with me at the moment, but it's definitely an awesome powder. And it's, again, these are the ones that I've tried and that I've loved. It doesn't mean that I've tried all the powders out there in the drugstore and I just like this three no 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 it's just that these are the ones that I've tried and I've actually loved and I can recommend to you guys for you guys to use so the first one is the Revlon color stay I just think it's amazing because it's sort of like a uh, it's a pressed powder but for me it was so thick and rich that it kind of gave me an appearance of actually not having to wear too much foundation and just applying this would definitely give me like a full coverage look. I don't even know if that's even possible, but it is. Like, I wore this powder when I wear like my, um, which is what, this one, which foundation that I don't use a lot is only when I'm trying to do like a no makeup makeup look, which I could do a video for you on that one. It's the L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder. You guys know that that foundation is sort of like not full coverage. It's more like a light coverage because it turns into powder. But I apply it with this powder and it sort of sets my makeup to the point that it looks full coverage. For me, that's how it works. The next one is my Holy Girl powder. It's the one I wear all the time. And it's the Stay Matte Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder. This powder right here is amazing. You guys know I talk about it. I rave about it. And every single video is what I reach for. It's absolutely love it. It gives me that matte finish and it definitely leaves me a lot a long lasting finish, which I absolutely absolutely love. It kind of tends to work in the whole long lasting as the Revlon color stay. But this one does not give me a matte finish. This one definitely does mattifies my face instantly. So I absolutely love it. That one runs about 3 bucks. I think it's anywhere for roughly from 3 to 5 bucks. The other one that I'm actually that I actually love and I used it and I actually used um their bra their blushes and everything. The L'Oreal True Match um the L'Oreal True Match pressed powders are amazing. They have like a whole lot of of color variation and they are amazing quality powders. They are very pigmented. Those three powders are actually really really good. I really recommend it. I have not tried the Fit Me uh, powder that goes with the foundation that I'm currently wearing. Um, I haven't tried that one and I know a lot of people say it's good. It's really really good. I haven't tried it I will probably try it um, If you have a holy girl powder again all these products that I like that I'm giving you my opinion I want to know which ones you guys have lift them down below lift them list them down below And I will definitely look them out and try them out and see if I really really like them as well So those are the three powders the Revlon color stay the stay matte Rimmel and the L'Oreal True Match powders are amazing, amazing powders, girl. Blush. We have L'Oreal. We have CoverGirl. We have Maybelline. We have All May. We have um, NYX. NYX is also considered drugstore. Um, we have Elf. We have um, Wet n Wild. We have so many drugstore products. And I have tried Maybelline. I have tried L'Oreal. I have tried Wet n Wild. But in my personal opinion, nothing but nothing can compare to the Milani blushes. I just think that the blushes are like really, really, seriously, the best blushes I have tried in the drugstore. My opinion. Remember, this is my opinion, people. Don't jump on my wagon and be like, oh, they suck. You should try this one. I will try them. Which one is your favorite? Let me know. But my opinion... I have almost all, I think I'm missing like two more. I don't, I think they're in my purse somewhere. But I have almost all the rose blushes uh, that Milani came out with just because the packages are so cute. And not only, not only because of that, I'm sorry, it's because the colors are so pretty. There goes my coral one, which I love for when for, for spring. It's like amazing. Um, we have coral, oh, that's not my coral. Okay, sorry, I'm back. Um, I have the. Floral Passion, which is like my everyday Mavi pink color. Then we have T Rose, which is kind of close to that one right there, but it's a little bit darker. I should open them so you guys can see. And I had to buy all of them just because they said that they were limited edition and they were so pretty. Then we have Lady Rouge, which is sort of like a like a corally, but sort of still throwing into the pinkish side. It's not that corally. 
Then we have that deep, deep, deep pink. And this one is uh, Love Potion. And then we have the Coral, which I absolutely love for spring and summer. And it's the Coral Cove. It's definitely a coral color. The lights are definitely washing the color away. But if you have these or if you want to, um, I think they came back. Supposedly they were not limited edition no more. They came back into the drugstore. So I'm pretty, pretty excited that I can share with you something that you can go back out there and get it. Then the other ones that I love about them, this one is kind of like started getting like a little weird. But they also have... They're regular blushes, which are the baked blushes. And they come with a little mirror in the back, so I absolutely love that. The fact that even if you can carry your blush, you can still have a mirror. Even though it's so little, but it still works. This is the color Coralina. And this was a drugstore must-have. Holy girl, if you didn't have it, you sucked. <laughs> Last summer, everybody was raving about Coralina from Milani Baked Blushes. And I have to say... It is a beautiful coral color. It has some shimmer, so when you apply, sort of like a highlight effect. So it's amazing. It's super cute. I love, love, love it. I love it. I only use it for spring and summer because it's a coral color. And I absolutely love, love it. Milani blushes are out there. They're super pigmented. They're extremely blendable. They're extremely buildable. They are extremely affordable. And they have so many different colors. They're amazing. As contour, <laughs> sorry, I kind of just like lost it. As contour, I have three. One of them, I don't have it with me. I do hate when I do that. <laughs> I do too. Um, one of them is the L'Oreal True Match uh, bronzers. Actually, they're not bronzers. I think, I'm not sure, they, I'm, now I'm confused. I don't think they have bronzers. Or they're just the pressed powders, but they're just for like really deep skin tones. I think it's because they're for really deep skin tones and you can use it as powder, as contour, and as bronzer. As bronzers. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. If not, correct me down below and let me know, uh -uh, friends, if they do have bronzers. But I'm pretty sure that when I was using them, I grabbed the deepest, I grabbed like the sort of the tan color powder, pressed powder, but I grabbed the tan because I'm so light, I couldn't do really deep to do contour. So I found that the tan color was actually perfect for my skin complexion, my color, to do a contour. So I absolutely love, love that because they're matte, they don't have shimmer, a finish or anything like that. And again, they're extremely blendable. When you contour in your face, when you do a contour, you're looking for powders that are extremely blendable because contour, you need to blend away to avoid any harsh lines. So I think when you're looking for that, make sure you're looking for a powder, a pressed powder that is extremely blendable. The next one that I'm loving and I'm using and I keep using, and it's the Elf Contour and Blush, um, Elf Contour Blush and Bronzer. This one I bought it online, but they do definitely sell it at Target. They sell it at Walmart. Some Walmart sell it. Some Walgreens sell Elf. So I absolutely love it. I don't use much of the of the of the blush because I don't really like the blush but for the contour part I love it it has sort of it's not all matte finish it sort of has like a maybe I think it is matte it's just pretty much I guess like the fallout of the blush because the blush is kind of shimmery just kind of falls into the bronzer but I think it's a beautiful matte um, light color for bronzing and of course for contouring this is what I've been using to contour my face because I love it and I think it was around I want to say it was around three to five bucks I mean, it's e.l.f. It's really, really cheap. And then the next thing um, everybody raves about, and of course, it's the NYC Smooth Skin Sunny Bronzer. And this is a bronzing face powder. So pretty much you can apply it to your whole face to use it as a, as a bronzer. And you can definitely use it as contour. I use this mostly as a bronzer because it's sort of, it sort of tends to be a little bit on the lighter side. So I contour my face and if I want to bring a little more warmth in some of my areas of, some areas of my face, I grab a big brush and I just swirl it onto the product and I apply it to my face. And it definitely gives me a very nice bronzing color because it's completely matte. And it's said to be a definite dupe for the um, Hula Bronzer by Benefit. Those are the ones I wanted to show you. I think the next video on this would actually hoping is concealers. It's something I really want to get to because I know a lot of people have like trouble finding the perfect concealer or they're looking for a concealer that gives them a highlight effect or one that is going to hide their dark circles. Like I said, I have dark, dark, crazy dark circles under my eyes and I really want to share with you what drugstore um, concealer has definitely helped me. So look out for that one. Want to see me get to do a get to know me video? Just go ahead and leave questions that you would like to know about me on the 
comment section down below and I will jot them down and I will um, prepare a get to know me video for you guys so you guys can get to know me who the heck um, I like who the heck is this girl here all up in the camera and just thinking she all that <laughs> Anyways, I just gotta say thank you so much for your support. I love you guys. I wish I can hug you and squeeze you guys um, I don't think I have anything else to say besides thank you so much for sticking till the end Be blessed precious pearls. I will see you on my next video. Bye